Hi, my name is Ellen. I'm a registered dietitian at the UPMC Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. And today we're going to go grocery shopping on a budget and we're gonna tackle the powerful protein group. Now let's get going. So where does protein fall on our plate? As we revisit the My Plate, this is our guide at mealtimes to help us balance out our food groups. And as you can see, protein is one fourth of this plate. It does not need to be front and center and have large portions of it. There's so many great other options for protein besides our traditional turkey, chicken, beef. And instead we can always remember there's eggs, tuna, beans, tofu, and nuts. Tip number one is reading food labels for protein. We really want to look at the food labels for lower fat options and also no added salt. And a great example of a lower saturated fat protein option is ground turkey instead of ground beef. We also want to look at no added salt. And this is really important in beans and in nuts and also in our tuna. Tip number two is to check your prices. And that means buying ground turkey in bulk rather than buying ground turkey as a pre-made patty. Another way is to buy less expensive proteins, such as beans, which are great additions to a casserole, chilies, or stews. And finally, two budget-friendly tips for shopping for protein. First, don't forget to look at the store ads ahead of time for those sales. And number two, really take advantage of those other protein options to stretch that food budget. Think about eggs. They're not just for breakfast. You can use them at lunch, at dinner, and they're great as a snack, even as a hard boiled egg. I hope you found today's tips useful and that they help you stretch your food dollar next time at the store.